All right. So uh, this is going to be a, a weekly general tarot reading, Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising, March 2nd to March 8th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can uh, make your purchase uh, of choice. So that being said, moving to the first card here, which stands as the topic of your week, Pisces, that is to be the Page of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the King of Cups, that is the energies which are feeding up the situation. Uh, next one here, it is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week, that is to be the Four card. Afterwards, what we have, it is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you will have to overcome. I'm talking bullshit. These are gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy, not to overcome. The challenges are what to what, what you need to overcome here. So the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy, the hangman, that is to be um, at that position. Next one, it is how people are looking at you, what kind of impression people are going to have in you guys. And uh, that is to be the um, emperor card. And the last one here, we have the guidance that Tsaru is offering to you. And uh, the guidance is in the face of the Queen of Swords. So once again, the cards, we do have the Page of Pentacles here with uh, the uh, King of Cups. Moving next is going to be the Fool card. Afterwards, we do have the Hangman. Next is going to be the Emperor. And the last one here, that is to be the Queen of Swords. All right. So uh, that week, uh, it does look like that uh, some sort of a, a proposition comes to your... Um, to your disposal, uh, either a proposition or someone is going to help you with something. Okay, um, especially if you well, you don't have to struggle. That is the that is the thing. But it is just a helping hand that comes around uh, out of nowhere. And the thing is that you may not even need it at all. That is with those two cards. So energy is feeding up the situation. It's uh, like. Um, uh, how can I say it? A, uh, these energies are going to force someone in that particular case, the Page of Pentacles, to kind of um, be dedicated to you and to your agenda. Now, in a sense of that, uh, with, with those energies, there is nothing to do with emotions. Yeah, there is an, an emotional attachment and connection, excuse me, in between you two, but that it is not the prerequisite so you get the uh the offer or so you get the helping hand here which by the way there is no need for you to decline or to deny even if you kind of um how can i say it if you even if you um are capable to manage it on your own accord because obviously you are going to waste more resources and time to do it so so if someone helps you uh, it's going to be much easier depending on the endeavor that this helping hand comes around uh, comes, comes around for. Now, with the queen, with the king of cups, these energies are making that person to kind of assess that you do deserve it. Not that they kind of like they, they are doing it out of charity or they are doing it out of pity or a commiseration. They just find out or they, they are going to see or kind of like uh, assess that you do deserve their incorporation into your um, uh, into your environment. So how this could play out? So well, in many different cases, you know, that could be a, a, a co-worker who helps you with the thing that you are kind of toiling over. I don't want to say struggling, more like a toiling over it. Uh, that could be, for example, an ex that comes and gives you a proposition, right? I mean, it's because... Uh, that is if the ex broke up with you, that is because uh, this ex kind of finds out or assess that you do deserve a second chance, right? Uh, that could be your boss giving you a proposition for going on a promotion. So you can expect throughout this week that I, that person, Page of Pentacles, is going to step forward and generally help you in any way they can or in any way that they assess it's, it's worth doing it. Now, the Page of uh, Pentacles... Uh, these people, just one second, because, uh, okay. So, Page of Pentacles, these people, they are very youthful in nature in the sense of that um, it's not like immature, but it is more like a, uh, a not naive, but they need so little 
to to kind of like get attached and get devoted to one or another person to one or another idea as well page of pentacles i said x because page of pentacles it is a, about a uh, um a mutual commitment as well and that person wants to make some sort of a commitment having the king of cups here obviously there is some sort of an emotional flow in between you two so it could be uh, it could be an ex but also it could be a friend of yours that uh, that approaches you and it doesn't give you a second chance it just offers you to transform your friendship into something more now are you gonna take it or not well that depends entirely on you all right and, and even if your ex approaches you and gives you a second chance are you gonna take it or not well once again that depends entirely on your decision but what you need to know here is that this person is um, content and uh, is capable of uh, deep emotions once again and big devotions as well and uh, for one or another reason it looks like that uh, it is within you and your environment is where their emotional state and devotion as well lie so uh, once again there is no need to turn off their offer or their helping hand in that particular case moving next uh, is going to be the challenge that you need to overcome here that is to be the full card so it's pretty obvious give it a chance because that is the full as a challenge you know having a, a belief into the doom and gloom that that thing which have been offered to you it's doomed of a failure or that you are not worthy for it that you are not capable of doing it say for example your boss approaches you with a proposition for a, a bigger challenge for a, a bigger project that comes around and you're feeling uncertain there uh, are you going to be able to manage with it or they offer you a better position but you are feeling uncomfortable or rather uncertain with your personal um with your personal capabilities that you're going to be able to manage it so the fool here uh literally points uh, that uh, uh uh, instead of focusing on the end goal or rather like on the overview what can happen you focus on why it may not happen if uh, if i may express myself that way right so your ex approaches you gives you a second chance but instead of focusing that you can be happy together you're focusing on why uh, on the things that made you broke up last time around but it's just a, a restart so you don't have to bring the old stuff into the uh, into the new environment so that will be the challenge not to compare what can be with what was back in the days but instead of once again i thinking of what can fail the project the endeavor the relationship you know or the cooperation in general with the page of pentacles uh, just to give it a chance and try it out and you're going to be amazed how far you can go with it uh, next one here it will be uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy that is to be the hangman and hangman uh, it's a kind of like a uh, uh, slowly developing gift and blessing it does point that everything is gonna fall on its place when the time comes right okay so uh, the hangman pretty much points that this either helping helping hand is gonna lead you to a point that it is hanging in the void for you okay and uh one way or another you are going to get there but right now with this uh with this cooperation that you are having at your uh, at your disposal it will be so much more easier um another thing that the hangman uh gives you as a gift and blessing that goes a little bit off the narrative of the reading it is that certain issues and and problems that you may have into your environment are going to start resolving themselves on their own accord it is because for them the hangman points that you don't have to attend at all especially as a gift and blessing it is just they are going to kind of sort themselves out and uh, that that itself is going to allow you for a more personal freedom but uh, the best thing uh, about the hangman it is the promise for a clear sky because the card does say that uh, the skies once darken are going to be set into light again and only thing you have to do in order this to happen is just to wait so it can happen uh next one it is how people are gonna look at you and that is highly related to the topic in the team that is the emperor and there is only one way to say it here this person uh, and because this is all that matters it, it doesn't matter how everybody takes on you all that matters is how that page of pentacles sees you 
and they are seeing you as a very reliable one with the emperor someone that they can entrust with a pretty important stuff okay like for example their lives if uh, you're jumping into a relationship you know like for example with their company if you are proposed to take on a lead of a certain project or even incorporation of a certain project on a very important place right uh, and so on and so forth now with the emperor it's pretty much the page the, the page kind of sees you as a uh, person who can manage things right who who has who is able to exert structure in there and therefore not allow anything to go out of hand and uh, you ha you also need to act that way as well pisces you you can't afford to look unresponsible you can't you, you can't afford to look kind of like hesitant as well and apprehensive of taking any kind of action I, every single day and every single moment when someone is looking at you you need to look like you are in control uh, you don't have to be but you gotta need to look like that way because the emperor the thing about the emperor it is that every emperor has weaknesses but a good emperor does not allow people to see or he is um uh subjugators to see that he is weak and it's exactly what you need to do even if you are a bit stressed right now even if you are in the void or kind of like in the blue of what you have to do next you don't have to look like you don't know what you're doing but you need to look confident and very very reliable and the last one it is uh, the guidance uh, that Taro is uh, offering to you now we do have uh, the uh, queen of swords and a few guidances here it is what we do have with the queen of swords um first guidance is that there is literally nothing that you can take on this week that you cannot push through but you have to be pretty in tune with uh, with how the environment unfolds right and, and you have to be on opportunists if you will and uh, also the card points that you do have a vast amount of experience in regards to the field of where this page of pentacles comes in and what kind of offer or a helping hand gives you and based on this huge amount of experience you can achieve a great things because the queen of swords it is that kind of a person who just make things happen why it is because first is professional and second it's for war it's forewarned so if you are baffled about a certain thing make your research this is how you're going to find the necessary information because sometimes you make a research and still it's futile but for you there won't be a futile research every research is going to produce results you need in order to make the appropriate actions in regards to your relationship or towards your career so that being said pisces this was your weekly general tarot reading for a march march 2nd to march 8 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website and from there once you go at uh, the website you're going to see all the services and the pricing that correspond to these services and um, hopefully we're going to see each other around until then, bye.